Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Um, in this uh, lecture, we're gonna discuss about how we can configure network uh, policy server. And meanwhile, my uh, aim is to create a Redis server as well. So I do have some network devices. So I uh, just want to uh, accomplish 802.11x. But so far, this is the requirement from Windows. I thought to use a Redis server Windows instead of Linux operating system, some other tools. We do have some community version as well. Remember that we do have a Linux version as well for free version in case if you want to accomplish Redis server 802.11x. But in this lecture, we're going to discuss about how we can configure Redis server using Windows Server 2022. Uh, all right, the first thing you, you have to make sure that you have uh, an installed Windows Server 2022 uh, uh, successfully. That's the requirement number one. And the second requirement is that you have to make sure that uh, you have an installed uh, Active Directory user and keep your That's very important as well. That's the requirement in order to accomplish this goal. So I have done uh, Active Directory install. I mean, this is my domain controller. This is my domain controller. Let's move on to the procedure of the installation of network uh, policy server. So once you come to the server manager, you have to make sure that you are logged into admin user. If you're not admin user, I don't think so if you're able. So you have to be a member of uh, domain admin or administrator member. Uh, uh, this is the thing that you should keep in your mind. Once you get here, server manager, click on manage. Once you click on manage, add the rules. So once you click here, you probably see there's uh, one, two option, cancel or next. We definitely need to click next. Before you begin, we have to read these things if you want. If you doesn't want, that's the only way where we can accomplish this goal. Rule-based or future-based installation. We prefer rule-based. It's not remote. I'm trying to configure my local server. Click next. My domain, uh, my domain is Eliostech. It's a DC domain controller and I have a one, there's no child domain, there's no additional domain. If you do have, that's also fine. If you are uh, installing Redis server in one of your child domain or parallel domain, you will be a witness of two, three names in here. You probably click the one which is you installing uh, Redis server, or we can say uh, NPS server, uh, collect that one. So far, I have one domain controller, I wanna collect this one. But here's the tip. So if you're using additional additional server, if you're using the second server, not the domain controller, but that is also like uh, their replication between the domain one and domain two, you have to pick the second one because the one which you install. So because sometime as a technical person from cybersecurity standpoint and so on, even from the system infrastructure, uh, we are not preferring to 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 install. I mean everything on one server so if you are uh, beyond me then make sure <laughs> to pick that one click next all right in here we have uh, option by the name of network policy and access services collect this one and you have to make sure to add all future whatever future it requires we probably need to click next all right once we collect next so uh, we are not touching anything in here. We just keep whatever it is in here. We just need to click next. And then next. And of course we can say restart if required. So this is how we can uninstall. And my aim is to accomplish 802.11, uh, 802.11x, yes. Click install and we have to wait and let's see what's gonna happen. So guys, it may take a time so far. For me, it took less than a two minute, guys, right? Um, close because the installation is complete. Let's see what we have in the flag. In the flag said other rules in future and installation successful on Elias Tech, DC domain controller, eliastech.com. So the installation is complete, 100% without any error, without any problem. All right, let's see if we can find in here as well. We have by the name of network policies server. Remember that once the installation is complete, you can uh, you can close this one. This is, this is just a uh, alert and information. Let's close this one. Um, close, okay. 
let's open once again and server manager so uh, I, I believe so we may need to restart the server in order to take effect so far the window does not prompt any issue that's a good thing it's, there's no any issue but I will definitely restart as well once I complete the configuration network policy server all right once we get here uh, guys remember that there is a when you look at in here reduce client and server we have a policies when when we expand the policies these two things are very important the connection request policy and the network policy these are very important if you want to accomplish uh, a kind of we can say radius server or so on but if you have a VPN you can do that as well but so far I don't have any VPN I just want to configure this server as a radio server and I want to connect my um, uh, network devices for example if anyone wants to access my wireless uh, router or wireless access point or Wi-Fi they should uh, type username and password um, the one which I created and uh, and the uh, other user and computer so the first thing you need to do is you have to right click on NPS and register server in the Active Directory you have to register with this server to our Active Directory if this server is not registered to our Active Directory what's gonna happen is that if any client want to use a radius server or username and password it doesn't work because we have configured radius server in our domain controller and so on but if uh, the domain controller if the radius server is not registered with our Active Directory it's gonna create a problem this option number one click it's very very easy step so let's click OK and um, okay that's it this was the registration the server has been registered without any problem that's a great thing to know all right as I say that there's the two important things as a common uh, as connection request policy and others network policy so if you look at in here use Windows authentication for all the user if you double click if you're wondering to see what is inside I will keep it as simple as this and I want to attach anything because it's built in factory default it does come once we configure our uh, network uh, policy server uh, this is what it is I don't want to create another one since I'm happy with this one if you look at the condition in here if you look at in here it, it works 24 by 7 I mean it is not a specific if I want to edit or modify it I can modify as well for example hey not every Saturday not every Monday so I mean I say that let's allow it uh, if you look at in here we have uh, what whatever is blue color it is permit whatever is white color is deny can uh, like deny some of the days that, for example Saturday Sunday if no one is working but uh, now that everyone is working from home if someone is stopping by probably probably from IT department if they are software developer so we, we, we rather not attach those things my suggestion is no don't touch so the, the another one we have in here is authentication so this portion is very important if you're uh, if you're working uh, for example in here authentication request on the server I said authentication request on the server if anyone access any network devices and they want to use a username and password I have to or me or one of our colleagues should log in to the domain controller create a user under that specific group in order to allow that specific user to access uh, whatever device they are accessing whatever Wi-Fi whether they're using Wi-Fi where they're using wire or Wi-Fi they should able to uh, access the internet if they or if they if they have a username and password in our domain controller I mean that, that this pur pur purpose is only for this server if you guys prefer to authentication different server you just click in this one click new then you can find or you can connect another authentication server with the help of this server as well so if you just want to make the scenario complicated <laughs> this is the uh, setting so I will not touch any anything so I just thought to go through with the uh, procedure as well so if you look at in here we have a network policy as well with the network policy let me open up this one with the network policy connection to uh, connection to Microsoft uh, we can see routing and remote access servers it's enabled but if you look at here it is blocked in here as unspecified if we double click in here we can say block or we can say ignore it is deny if you look at in here uh, policy enable it is denied mean it doesn't work 
So this one is also connecting to the other uh, access servers using username and password the same active directory. They are they are denied as well. It means if you look at here, it is denied. So in order to create our own uh, network policy, we have to create our own network policy. Let's say in here, um, NPS, NPS, um, or say NPS, um, pol pol policy, NPS policy, uh, anything else there. Because we want to mess that because what if an NPA policy is already existing here? And uh, we are not touching anything. Let's click next. Once we click next, in here, guys, remember that I need your attention in here. That is very important. Uh, click add. Uh, if you are, if here's the thing, I need your attention. This portion is if you don't have Active Directory. If you don't have any Active Directory installed in your computer, you can use this one. But if you have Active Directory installed inside your Windows uh, Server 2022, whatever server you're using. All right, so, so far I say that if you have a Windows, just Windows without any Active Directory, collect this one. But if you have Active Directory, like uh, my scenario, I do have Active Directory, I will collect this one. Um, I, will, I, will, I will add a group and then add a group add a group let's create a, let, let's create a group let's create a group in here before we do that we, I, I just want to create a group by the name of uh, just want you guys to know what we are doing in here that's very important as well um, if you come to here uh, in here I'm going to create a group by the name of new new group let's say uh, NPS NPS Elias tech so this is the new group and as a global uh, secure this is a good group so we have a NPS uh, Elias tech group and I just create this one in here so whoever is member of this group should be able to access the network device that I have Let's minimize this one. Let's search for that group. If that group is existing here, we can um, find that one as well. Let's see, Elias. No, it's not N N NPS, guys. This is the group, right? Let's click OK. OK. Here you go, guys. This is how we can um, add a group for th this is specific uh, uh, procedure and. So in here we have to specify the access permission either this group is not able so if you want to create another group here's the thing if you want to create another network policy for just deny you can do that as well but so far I want to grant access for whoever is a member of that specific group so I'm going to uh, access granted for that specific group click next and then uh, here's the place where we can find the authentication method which kind of authentication method you're looking for and here if you look at in here we have a Microsoft a smart card or other certificate guys if uh, Microsoft smart card is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a kind of uh, we can see a, a technology that if you, if you have that smart card then you are able to access that specific network or internet so I would say since I don't have a Microsoft smart card I'm not using that I will use EAP this one is the one and the last one is secure password so I will pick the I will pick the, the middle one so this is the method how client should able to access the internet so because the entire aim of ready server is to to track uh, authentication authorization accounting of client and user so we'll pick this one I will say okay and then click next um, in here uh, the rest is you don't have to configure we don't have to configure these things. I'm not touching anything in here. Daily base, we have already discussed about that one. I will keep the standard one. Um, we are not touching the bandwidth application protocol. Uh, keep the, the rest as whatever it is. IP filtering, we can do IP filtering, but I'm not touching those things. Click next and then finish. All right, guys, if you look at in here, I have a policy by the name of NPS policy. 
so make sure to move this one all the way up because uh, this is almost same as a Cisco device guys if you remember we have a Cisco device if you create the access list if you create the all the way down the access list if you have a deny the first one then it, the, the, the last uh, access list doesn't work because it's based on the sequence and the same is in here if if you look at in here the two uh, we can see uh, cross thread sign in here means deny 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 but uh, if I put this one all the way down it doesn't work so parts of triple should sh just keep in your mind and uh, all right so it seems to me we are all set we are all set this is how we can configure uh, this is how we can configure NPS or network policy server uh, using Windows Server uh, 2022 and everything is okay and uh, before we move on with that one as well, if you want to create, so right now I'm going to create a client. This is very important. Remember that you have to create a radius client as well. So I have a client it is, uh, I can say, uh, this is uh, link um, access um, client. So the access point IP address is 192.168.1.2. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. So here is the um, secret. If you want to connect that access point, if you want to connect that access point, if you want to connect any devices, like if you want to access, give them access. So what we're going to do is we need to create a secure um, uh, pressure key in here let's say abc at one two three four abc at one two three four so let me write it down abc at one two three four as my secure key and the entire my uh, <laughs> you guys know what's the secure key but that's fine this is our test lab you know uh, but technically we are not disclosing this key with anyone okay so now in my access point what i'm gonna do i will log into my access point i will uh, accept uh, wpa3 that's the advanced encryption algorithm as well i will pick that one and that will ask me for reduce password reduce uh, username and uh, reduce ip and i will type my active directory ip then i will type the pressure key and i should good to go all right so the entire aim was to how we can configure network policy server using a windows server 2022 i hope the information was very helpful guys if you think it was very helpful what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe and share this information with your friend with your family with whoever you think they are following such a valuable information until next time stay safe be brave and of course see you guys next time